what's different at CTIA than uh, Mobile World Congress for us is, is the global launch of our liquid radio architecture. And the liquid radio architecture brings together a suite of our innovations that are commercially available uh, today. And these suite of innovations are really designed to address the challenges we see in the industry and are well talked about even this morning as we heard from uh, the CTO panel. And, and namely that is the compounded interest effect that we see in year over year dramatically more demand as users have uh, ever and ever more increasingly capable devices. And so Liquid Radio brings together our active antenna system announcement. It is a first in the industry for not an integrated antenna, but a true active antenna that provides the intelligence ampli amplification and supports vertical beamforming. With baseband pooling, which builds on our Flexi Multiradio 10 solution, and that solution uh, uh, uses our second generation system on a chip, so it offers tremendous amounts of capacity. Our self-organizing networks, the network management system, and at the end of the day, what that means is that you can actually move the baseband processing from underneath a given site, essentially being confined, that capacity being confined to a site, move that capacity to a centralized location so that all of the baseband processing can shift with the users of the network and thus have a dramatically more efficient network, maximize your spectrum, and lower costs. At Tell Labs, our role has, has traditionally been in the backhaul space, and we work with Nokia Siemens as well as uh, is, uh, in a direct model and with others too to provide the connectivity between all these changing topologies from the cell site back into the, into the, uh, into the core. So what we see is a couple of things happening. Um, first of all, as we all know, there's this transition toward more and more packetization of the traffic as the traffic itself becomes more data oriented. There's also all of the capacities that, uh, that you mentioned you know, related to the aggregate demand is, is going up from all the cell sites. So that propagates things like fi greater fiber penetration, uh, microwave, Ethernet microwave. You know, we, we've integrated, for example, the FlexiPacket microwave into our management system. So those are the kind of the undercurrents of the dynamic. So um, at the show, you know, um, we're uh, talking about some recent announcements we've made to incorporate higher speed capabilities into our platforms, um, high, um, more uh, Ethernet functionality, and uh, and then coupling that with some of our um, our packet core technology that that ties together with the capacity in order to bring greater intelligence to the network. So the first thing is there's an industry term called cloud ran that's been tossed around. And, and it was just a shorthand. But what that really was is baseband pooling. And, and it's not a very accurate term because cloud came out of the IT space and it's about managed services. Right. Mm -hmm. What we're talking about here is literally being able to centralize baseband capacity, leveraging the appropriate uh, topology yep. and solutions as Telabs brings so that baseband capacity can communicate with macro, micro, pico, cells, active antenna systems, and remote radio heads, all of the tools in the arsenal of today's heterogeneous network, and allow that capacity to be dedicated wherever it needs to be within the network. The concurrent change that's happening in the topology is is op operators and the network is going from this full routed um, infrastructure to a more data center, hosted content, hosted capabilities, you know, software as a service, all of those things, um, as well as the devices themselves becoming more powerful and potentially there's this, this uh, evolution that goes concurrently with those two things. So from a radio perspective, from a backhaul perspective, switching and routing, things like optical layer, all of those things need to evolve together so that operators can realize the most efficient way to roll those things out, the most, the greatest way to take take advantage of some of these advancements that are happening in the network, and ultimately the, the, the ultimate goal, which is to best serve the end user and to create the best end user experience. When you think about the new network of the future with multiple layers of cells, it will allow for auto configuration of cells to be put in. It will dynamically reallocate capacity. 
and self-healing. And it's all brought together by what we've been talking to, uh, to yeah. you about today. That's, a, that's right. You know, we, we, we tend to view it as, yes, there are challenges and there's com additional complexities that are introduced, but much more so it's an opportunity for operators yeah. to capitalize on some of these advances to serve new, new forms of, uh, of, of end user services and to you know, provide, again, greater efficiency as lots of things are changing. And it's difficult to predict exactly what sorts of services will be embraced and what devices right. are going to do and so forth. But this is a, you know, a foundation upon which operators can put themselves in a, in a, in a position to take advantage of that.